Welcome to Plant Park Activities. We're going to go through some guided stretches and crafts that will help support plant part learning. When you start with your stretches, you're going to want to explain that it's like being a plant. So first of all, you need to imagine yourself as a plant. What would you do if you were a plant? Where would your roots be? Let's bend down and touch where your roots would be. Touch your toes. Then we need to think about what would hold our plant up strong and tall. What's the next part? Our stems. Let's touch our legs. There are our stems. Now we're going to need to put out some leaves. Leaves help absorb sunshine and give us the energy so that we can convert sunshine into food. Next, we're going to need to make a flower. That's right, your face is like a flower. Flowers attract pollinators and help plants mature and reproduce. Sunflowers follow the sun with their faces. Next, we're gonna put out some strong branches. Show me your strong branches. At the end of your branches are some fruit and the seeds fall down to the ground and the process starts all over again. As we do the stretches a second time, we're going to go much faster. Now we're going to go to our roots, stems, leaves, flowers, fruits, the fruits have the seeds inside, and those seeds go to the ground. We'll do it again even faster. Roots, stems, leaves, flowers, fruits, and seeds. You can keep going, getting faster and faster each time. You'll see it's a lot of fun. As you can see from my group of helpers here, this can be done with any age group. For upper elementary and even middle school, I like to take a more yoga style approach using breathing techniques, like breathing out as you bend over to touch your roots. Once your students have the hang of it, this can be a great brain break to do occasionally to break up class time. Now for our second plant part learning extension. This time we'll be doing a craft. For this craft, you'll need some scissors, glue, and something like a straw, a muffin paper, some string, some cut out leaves, and some seeds. You'll also need a paper to build on, whether it's a full size of construction paper or even just a piece of computer paper, it's up to you. There's a lot of different variations that you can use with this craft and still make it a meaningful learning activity. So as you can see with my helpers today, we have different materials working on different papers, but we're gonna end up with plant parts that have been diagrammed out so that you can see all of the parts and what they're used for. The finished product is really diverse because we did use different materials, but you can see our first one has yarn, real leaves, a pipe cleaner, muffin papers, and as those seeds, they have couscous pasta but it still shows all of the plant parts and where they would be in relationship to each other. The middle one, instead of a muffin paper, has part of an egg crate. So you can see that that shows maybe petals of a flower and the seeds inside. And last but not least, our third one has muffin papers, leaves, seeds, some string at the bottom, but those are also all labeled so that you can see each of the individual plant parts in relation to one another. Thank you for joining me today as we explored plant part activities. This is part of our distance learning lessons available from the University of California Hansen Agricultural Research and Extension Center. For more lessons, please visit harec.ucanr.edu. We hope that you'll join us for Meeting Herbie, the puppet that teaches plant parts, and other garden learning lessons. Thank you so much and have a great day.